Kugo has long been known for making budget electric scooters. They really have a wide range of choices for you to choose from. The durable ones, the crazy fast ones, the wheel wheel around ones. But in this video, we are going to introduce a Kugo scooter that would top most of the previous generations, the Kugo G-Max. I've been riding the G-Max around for a month now, and it's a blast. Let me simply put, if you have the budget and want a quality, durable, micro-mobility vehicle, you should probably get this one. To really get a sense of what the Kugo G-Max electric scooter is packing, let's check out the specs first. It features two massive 10 by 3 inch pneumatic tires, a disc brake and electric brake, a gigantic 7.9 inch deck. I've never seen such a wide and a thick deck on this type of form factor scooter before. It just makes you feel safer. A fairly large LED screen, it displays various reports such as speed mode, current speed, odometer, the remaining battery charge, and cool speed animation. However, it's a little bit hard to see clearly in broad daylight. But hey, when you're riding, focus on the road instead of the display, right? Now, to the most exciting part. The power. It supports a front 500 watt brushless motor, which gives you a max of 35 km power speed, makes it one of the most powerful Kugel scooters I've ever ridden. For this, it features a 36 voltage 10.4 mAh battery that offers a max range of 32 km on a single charge. It has a max load capacity of 100 kg and a staggering 20 kg weight. Yes, it's heavy, but that's what we are talking about the build quality. Price is 760 US dollars, it's one of the prices of quick scores. The GMAX has to compete on quality, and so far, it seems like the GMAX came to win. This thing is solid. Just check out the sturdy and durable mechanism, alloy stem and body, the big and broad wheels. The entire score just feels like a tank. As a part of my week on the GMAX, I tried to push in the hard over jumps and ride off road on the trails, ranging from gravel to lawn to single track. And GMAX handled it all. It was built to last. But is it comfortable to ride? The 3 inch 5 tires work great at absorbing some bumps in the road. I feel comfortable and stable on those well maintained city roads. But they definitely don't replace four suspension for carbon stones or the high impact rough terrain like they did on Kugel G Booster. Still, most people will be using scooters on fairly decent streets and bike lanes. As for the speed, the Kugel G-Max easily gets me up to 34 km per hour. Depending on the terrain, I can sometimes hit the claimed 35 km per hour or even faster, but not worries. I'm happy with that though. Few scooters reach the true top speed on anything less than 100% power battery and on indoor track. It's pretty standard across the industry. In addition to power, the G-Max is extra torquey. It can climb steep slopes very easily according to our test. So, to answer the question, should you buy the Kugel G-Max? Oh gosh, it's a little bit difficult to answer. It does have top performance and feels better than most of the e scooters I've reading. It's super powerful, easy and comfortable to ride, and it looks beautiful too. It's not an ultra portable scooter, but it's not terribly hard to move around either. Manageable for most adults. It has a way better folding mechanism than some of the previous Kugel scooters. This one is just intuitive, very easy to fold or unfold. But for the price 760 US dollars, it's a little bit difficult to decide. Definitely, G-Max isn't for everyone. If you have a limited budget or you don't need a serious micro mobility, there are plenty of alternatives on Gibani for you to choose from, like the Kugel M4 or even Xiaomi M365 Pro. But for anyone that doesn't immediately recall when you hear the price, then you'll likely be very happy with the G-Max. It's a durable and a serious scooter that has a potential of 50 km per hour speed. And when you compare it to other competitors like a Boost Drive, it comes at half the price. You do get a ton of value for your dollar if you choose the Kugel G Max. Alright, that's the video for more about the Kugel G Max. You can check out the link in the description or on the screen. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click right here to subscribe to Gibain. I'm Sammy, see you next time.